follow me, follow me. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, that's one of his songs. That's probably one, the first song that I heard from him and I fell in love with it. After that, I had a good relationship with this man. This man is called Os West. If you don't know, now you know. We're gonna introduce him on the stage here at the Legal Alien Corner. Mr. Us West, how you doing, sir? I'm good, sir. And you, how you doing? I'm pretty good, man. So we're going to get right into it, man. The people want to know who exactly who you are. Some people might know you on your platform, but on this platform, they don't know who you are just yet. So tell them about yourself. Where are you from? Um, I'm from Togo. Togo. Yeah. For uh, those who don't know, um, we're, we're in Togo specifically because people want to represent. But like, I'm from Togo too, but I want to make sure that he's from the same place as me. Uh, I would say I'm from Lobe, you know, okay. Lobe, yeah, okay. that's the city, that's where I was, I'm from. Uh, somehow, somehow, how long you been in the States? Um, I've been here more than, I think, six years. More than six years? Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. I've been here for six years now. All right, that's good. And everybody knows by now that you're a musician, that's why you're on this platform. So I'm going to ask you music-related questions. Yeah. The first time that you picked up, well, not the first time that you pick up the microphone. First time you're watching TV and be like, you know what? I want to be like that person. Who was that person and what made you want to get into music? That's a tricky question. I, I, I didn't have like a specific artist, mm -hmm. but I just fell in love with rap music, you know, at a young age. When I was, I would say when I was in like primary school, like I was still like keto, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But um, my favorite artist was uh, Eminem back then. Mm. Yeah, that's that's the United States part. And in France, it was Soprano. Soprano. Yeah. And so, what about the dancing part? How did you get into that? You know, uh, you're a pretty good dancer. I've seen you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks. Um, the dance part, I would say I got it from my mom, though. Because, uh, yeah, I heard this story. Like, she used to dance crazy in school mm -hmm. and uh, all that. And yeah, I just grew up like with the moves. And uh, oh, the funny part is like, uh, she told me when I was younger, right? Mm -hmm. I used to dance in her back anytime I hear music. <laughs> <laughs> there you <laughs> got it, folks. It's in the genes. So, if the mother could dance, the son is gonna dance too, yep, okay? Yep, yep. Now we're gonna go fast forward. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna go into the, the music now. Yeah. When you first picked up the microphone, was it in Togo or was it over here? Oh, uh, it was in Togo. In Togo? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I started a, a rap group, you know, with uh, some friends okay. back then. Um, I think it was, I would say like early 2005, like, yeah, around that, mm -hmm. that year. Yeah, we had the first group and then, but I had to move to a different city okay. and then I had a, another group, you know. And then from there, I'm going so solo, okay. you know. Do you still remember the first song that you did? Um, Yes. Oh well. Wow. I think it's okay. The, 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 the first song I did by myself was mm -hmm. uh, version française. Mm -hmm. So that was like a pure French rap. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now we're moving on over to the United States. Mm -hmm. You have a couple of projects that's yeah. on there on the platform. Of yeah. course, your IG and your Instagram. And what are you doing at the moment? Are you preparing like an album, an EP, a single? Um, you know, the people like oh, them up. Yeah, uh, right now I'm just uh, releasing uh, singles. Mm. Uh, yes, I, I don't have like any uh, solid management behind me okay. for the moment. So um, I'm just releasing singles. Okay. And, uh, I have a video I'm working on right now, Dango. Uh, the song is out. You can go check it out. And I'm working on another song as well, Winner. Winner is out, but I'm just working on videos. So okay, yeah. So now speaking of production style, you into the Afro pop now and everything. Afro trap and Afro, Afro trap, yeah. and you specifically work with Legal Aliens, right? As you guys can see over yeah. here, Legal Aliens. Yeah. Um, who was the person that you worked with over there, and how many projects have you done? You know, what's the relationship like with the uh, Legal Aliens? Oh man, um, uh, thanks a lot to Legal Aliens. Like seriously, um, when I came to the United States, uh, I started working with. Uh, uh, some DJs, but they didn't really like uh, appreciate or didn't really understand the type of music mm -hmm. I was into. Absolutely. Uh, until I met Diddy Mastermind from Legal Alien, who like just embraced my style. You see, you man. know, yeah, he embraced my style. He knew like what I what I wanted. 
So he just like killed my first song. Uh, I think I did that song with uh, When It Can't Get. Zuma Dance. Zuma, Zuma Dance. Abba, abba. And then from there we did Follow Me. And Follow Me, follow me was the favorite. big mm-hmm. hit. You know, um, I performed a lot. Follow Me on different stage. And yeah, thanks to Mastermind for that. And from there we work on all the projects as well. That's Everything is available, you know, elsewhere, and then you'll find out. Oh, oh, yeah, this is your time to plug yeah. in the your 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 information, your social media. Go ahead and let them know. Arswes, A R S W E S S, and then you will find me everywhere. When I say everywhere, like every single everywhere. platform, you can find me. <laughs> so there you guys have it. We don't want to talk too much. This is an episode of Legal Alien Corner. Mr. Oswes, Mr. Bantu, signing off, guys. <laughs>